Hey everyone, Anthony for Before Diesel. Hey, you know, I'm here to give you the info. I'm not sponsored by bloody Starlink or anything like that. Just like I'm not sponsored by k &N filters, but they're just the cheapest, most efficient way to run your vehicle and not waste your money on air filters. Some people go, oh, he's got a vested interest. No, he doesn't. Anyway, Starlink, I'm going to give you a bit of info. I'll put a post up on my Anthony Prado Fulby on Facebook about having Starlink um, and a little bit about how much data it's used. Now, what I've done at the moment is I've got only the, I'm using a phone right now to make this video. It's connected to Starlink at the moment. I literally thrown it out on the floor at the back of the car where I am at the moment. I'm going to run through some basic information for people that are interested. And for that, all you need to do, if you decide to get one of these, contact me in a text message for the referral code so that you get a free month and I get a free month as well. Now, the reason I went for this, the mini, it's really simple. All your modem and everything, all your software, hardware, sorry, is built into that. I call that the antenna, if you like. You've got your cable, and it's simple as that. You do need one of these power adapter thingamajigs. So as long as you've got an Anderson plug in your car, which I've just installed, and the Anderson plug's there, that can just sit there. That can go from any vehicle, anywhere, or you can just literally plug that adapter in if you've got 240 volt into that end of the wire there. So this is the first time I've used this testing it we've just made up a few other little adapters and bits and pieces for other things that i'm doing i'll have other videos on that on this but what i wanted to tell you is battery century um it was sitting on 12.85 volts you might be able to just see that says 12.5 that's just rounding it we had a multimeter we measured the um current and all that sort of thing and that's what i really want to share with you here when the fridge is running i know it uses about two and a half or so amps with everything off the voltage was 12.85. Remember, a bit of voltage drop because the battery's at the front and the wires run to the back. 12.85. Fridge is not running at the moment. Okay, when the fridge cut in, of course, this would drop a bit lower than that. With both of them running, the fridge and this, the battery voltage at this end dropped to 12.3 something. It says 12.3 there, right? But that's not what matters. What matters is the average was 2.2 amps. Hey, what was the maximum you saw? About three, was it? Three amps. Three amps was the maximum we saw. 2.2 .2 was about average, and the lowest was about 1.8, 1.9 or something, yeah? Yes. Yep, so the minimum was just under two amps. Maximum was about three, but we saw average about 2.2. I'm connected at the moment. I've put the phone on low data mode, so nothing big happens in the background. Although I think I worked out, don't do speed tests on your app because you're going to chew your data. I'm about to check the usage again soon. Also stay tuned on the Anthony Prado 4 Facebook page for further info on this one. Butter bing, butter boom. 80 bucks a month, 50 gig. If it slows down like it seems to now, should be fine. So just don't do anything too heavy duty. Low data mode on and don't do speed tests is what I learned. 15 meter lead. I believe this is all some sort of waterproof, but I just chucked it out quickly. And this is the third time I've connected. I'm just going to get into the app and have a quick look. I haven't done anything with a phone. As far as I'm concerned, it shouldn't have used any data. It seems to be an update every time I fire it up. That doesn't count as your data usage, which is good to know. Let me just get on the uh, data and have a look and let you know if it's actually used anything while I've been connected for a short period and if it's wasting our data or not. There it is. All right, look, I reckon we wrap this one up. It's been connected for a little bit. I haven't worked out where I go into... There you go, we've got the fridge compressor running. And the Starlink still connected. 12.3 volts. That is under load. And there's a distance. So you've got voltage drop also. So it's not really running it down that hard. As soon as that cuts off, we'll have a fair recovery. We can actually even do that. So what I'll do, I'll disconnect it now. Bang, that's it. Simple as that. We're disconnected. Okay, I'm not going to drop that on the ground. I want to look after that end. Otherwise, it's the sort of thing I normally... So you can see that's come back to there. I'll turn the fridge down. And you'll see the battery recover. It's probably nearly about to hit 12.7. I believe it'll recover back to about 12.8. Um, it's going to be very close. Just needs to have a bit of a rest and it'll be happy. There it is, 12.7. And it's going to get me back to 12.8. So it's just lower voltage under load because of the voltage drop over the distance but running the fridge in this you could have this connect for an hour do a bit of catch up or an emergency whatever i'm actually really happy with it i like it it's going to look like i'm sponsored by starlink so remember that referral code please help me out with a free month because you're bloody awesome happy to help i'll give you some more info we've covered the power usage 
we've covered how simple it is pack that back into that box and chuck it away in any car you want bob's your uncle plug it in any power outlet this thing it's almost too good to be true thanks for watching hope that helps you that's what i'm doing why would you have a sat phone or any of these other little devices that cost money to run that limit your connectivity when you can just turn this on and off month by month month at a time 80 bucks 50 gig you can have full functionality of your phone phone calls text messages and your whole family or your friends i think you connect what does it say 100 people i forget all these numbers but i don't even need to connect 100 devices but i'm talking about a few at a time but just make sure everybody's got low data mode turned on i think that's going to help so it doesn't do any of the big updates and if anything changes there'll be more videos and info coming soon when i did the first two connections i certainly did do speed tests might have done it more than once and that'll account for that 3.6 gig for the most part being wasted so i'll take the blame for that learn from my mistakes subscribe turn the bell on and i'll catch on the next video let's leave that plugged in for now killer stuff back in the box took me one minute beautiful